Hey y'all, I am back on my bullshit. Alright, so we are back with the, uh, <laughs> the fakest fruitarian couple out there, Fit Shorty, um, and her partner Chip, who allege they have been eight years raw vegan. Alright, so here is, uh, Justina and Chip's parents, and, I mean, you can just tell that she looks much older than the photos that she posts of herself. Like, she basically looks as old as Chip's mom, which, I mean, says a lot about, um, Chip's mental health, mommy issues much. These photo cracks me up. Like, Chip's dad, just like, oh my god, I can't believe my son is dating this old lady. <laughs> just, yeah, that, that look right there is priceless. So, like, look how uncomfortable Simon looks, right? And I'm going to guess it's because he can't sit on his mom's lap like he really wants to. Again, mommy issues, dude, but <laughs> yeah, maybe in another, in another video we will delve into that. I found this one really interesting because it's um, Tina with Chip's mom and with her mom before ever being pregnant and as you can see her stomach is the same as these women who have given birth um, but here's the photo she posts on her page making her stomach look taut and uh, not all wrinkly and saggy. And then, yeah, here are the photos that she posts of herself, which, yeah, extremely, mu like, just very much less um, wrinkled than the unedited photos of herself. She even, like, positions her hair to cover her neck wrinkles. Like, yeah, this is her, and this is, like, actually two years before that photo that she posted. So, yeah, she, uh... <laughs> definitely photoshopping her pictures. Which, nothing wrong with that, except if you're gonna say that you look the way you do because of your diet and it's actually because of Photoshop. But yeah, very clearly Photoshopped here. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, let's get on track as to how Justine is such an authentic person. So back to the claim that they have been, um, raw vegan for eight years. Let's, let's investigate this claim. So eight years ago would have been 2014. Okay. So 
so here we go, six years ago, um, eating <laughs> raw vegan food in Bali, right? And then um, five years ago, picking mushrooms with Chip in Poland, which uh, <sighs> those are those are some interesting pants there, Chip. And right here, forest mushroom sauce, thanks to mushrooms harvested by Fit Shorty Eats. And all raw. Um, okay, so I know you're gonna be like, well, that doesn't mean that they necessarily ate the stew. Forest chanterelles picked by Fit Shorty Eats and all raw converted to a specialty tasty sauce. Again, this is 2017. And again, people are gonna be like, oh, well, you don't know that they ate it. All right, you're right. I don't know they ate those. I think it's interesting that they were tagged in them and that they picked the mushrooms for them if they didn't eat them. But here we go from four years ago. Autumn is coming. Time for roasted potatoes with decorative additives, a special Polish dish. And Pit Shorty says, that's a lot of decor additives. Love this dish. Not loved, love, as in current tense. And this would have been when she was three months pregnant with Leo. So, um, yeah. So from June 2018, veggie green curry and seafood red curry, a la Thai style. So they are visiting um, Pit Shorty and Chip. And Ty and Fit Shorty replies, looks promising. Um, so, seems to me like she probably ate it, right? I mean, again, possibly wrong. She definitely ate the other one. Um, and then this one is October 13th, 2017. Prawns. Okay, so this is very clearly not vegan or raw because that's like prawns are not vegan. And then Fit Shorty replies, I remember this. Heart. Okay, so she remembers eating those four years ago. And right here, her parents tag her in this uh, picture of cooked food and fish, calling it sea fruits, which I, I do think that is funny. Um, but yeah, that's from 2017, which again, that is five years ago, not eight. And then she's tagged in this one as well with this fried fish from 2016. Which that's six years ago, not eight. And she replied um, on the pheasant dish, which I'm going to show in a second. She replied, so much flavor. So <laughs> how would she know it has so much flavor if she didn't eat it? she is tagged in um, an actual raw vegan photo from 2016. Here she is tagged in this photo um, from 2016. I'm assuming that the salad and the fruit are probably 
for her. I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt on that. But I would like to point out that <laughs> that one bottle was tagged for her. So I'm going to assume that that is um, her bottle of alcohol, which again, she's been saying she doesn't drink caffeine, doesn't drink alcohol. Mom's special dish of the day, wild quail in a cream sauce. Um, from six years ago, pretty sure that quail isn't vegan, but who knows, maybe it's fruit of the trees. Like, that fish was fruit of the seas. Get it? But yeah, she called it a deluxe meal, so she also said it was yummy, so I mean, she definitely ate it. <laughs> and then, um, here we go, a special eel for mom's birthday. Fruits also, de la Berry, um, from six years ago. And again, maybe, you know, eel is the fruit of the sea, right? No, it's not, but that's okay. <laughs> And then this one, uh, six years ago, we fruitarians like fruity di mari plus fermented fruits, sangiovese grapes named Chianti, which <laughs> obviously a little humor there, but um, she replies and says, they do indeed yum mum cooking. So she ate it and she drank it and is still claiming that she's been raw vegan for eight years when she was eating fish and cooked foods and alcohol as little as five years ago. This is from six years ago. <laughs> Again, that's, that's definitely not fruit, definitely not raw, definitely cooked. Definitely was once a living creature that is now dead and on the table. Yeah, here we go, another one. Uh, this one looks like it even has some nice yummy cheese. And those mushrooms that, you know, Tina claims she can't eat raw. But she's obviously eating cooked. <laughs> Which makes me think that all of her mushroom recipes as of late are, um enjoyed by her cooked, not raw, as she is purporting it to be. So it looks like her transition into um, vegan started with her, you know, just being a pescatarian. And I'm not sure why she has to lie about that, but here you are. Here she is, lying about it. <laughs> And like, I'm not saying she wasn't making a transition. Um, I think that it's very clear she was because right here, Mama's and Victoria's veggie salad. So good. This is leftover only. And she replies and said, best meal so far. Love it. Your body loves it too. So um, obviously transitioning, but also not transitioned yet and like again i said i don't think that she has ever been raw vegan for more than maybe like a couple months i just really don't so these are the tagged photos where i got um my information thank you guys for watching and stay woke bye